Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings and placements. In this session, we are going to discuss what are the different types of invoices in account payables or what are different uh, supplier invoices we have. Okay, this is uh, a regular question which we can expect in the uh, interview point of view. So uh, what we have to answer is uh, these are different types of invoices we have. One is a standard invoice. Uh, this is an invoice from a supplier for goods or services, whatever we received from the supplier. It's a regular, regular invoices, which we are going to do this. And prepayment. Prepayment invoice is an advanced payment to the supplier. The status of the prepayment type invoice, after initial validation, it's going to be unpaid. Then after that, we are supposed to make the payment, right? And most of the prepayment invoices, uh, payment term will be, immediate that that we have to go for make the payment it's an advanced payment we are paying to the supplier and then later whenever we are creating standard invoices we'll go for apply this payment invoice and we can also enable the bell icon notification at the bu level so that whenever you raise the invoice for the supplier system will automatically populate the bell icon uh, at the time of creating the invoice and when at the moment when you save the invoice Credit memo and debit memo, both are negative amount, will be specifying. But uh, credit memo will get it from supplier that provides a credit for our goods or service, whatever rendered. Whatever we received the goods or services, your customer is, sorry, your supplier is going to give the credit. That credit amount we are going to apply for the standard invoice so that your supplier liability will be decreased. Means invoice amount will be decreased. Debit memo is a credit from a, a supplier that does not send you a credit memo document. So we are going to prepare a debit memo and we will give it to the supplier. And so that uh, we are going to decrease the invoice amount. So debit memo will be raised by our uh, buyer. Credit memo will be raised by the supplier. That's the difference. Withholding tax invoice, that is very important. Who will create credit memo and who will create a debit memo? So both invoice types purpose is to decrease the supplier liability here. Okay. And then withholding tax is basically an automatically generated invoice to a tax authority for withholding tax. So on behalf of supplier, we are going to pay the tax to tax authority. We call it as a withholding tax. For that, we are supposed to define Withholding tax authority is one of the supplier. And then we need to define the tax withholding options and tax classifications. And we have to attach to the supplier so that whenever we raise the invoice, system will automatically prepare the withholding tax. Transaction tax is different. Withholding tax is different. Transaction tax, that is a tax which we will apply general, but this is different withholding tax. Interest, uh, an automatically generated invoice for interest on uh, overdue invoices. This interest invoice we don't create. It's automatically created. When this interest invoice will be created, if the invoice due date is over and if the supplier site is enabled as uh, interest payable supplier, then that particular uh, invoice means for that particular supplier site, interest invoices will be created. The standard invoice request is uh, basically an invoice without a purchase order that's submitted through Oracle Fusion supplier portal. We know that in Fusion applications, we have separate supplier portal. What is meant by supplier portal? It's a simple module. Uh, through the supplier portal, suppliers can communicate with our buyers, get information and send the information. So the information between the supplier and buyer will be exchanged through this uh, supplier portal okay so in case uh, if the supplier has raised the invoice through supplier portal then it's a standard invoice request credit memo invoice request also it comes from supplier portal so standard invoice and credit memo we have already seen here right standard invoice and credit memo but if these two invoices are raised through supplier portal we call it as a standard invoice request and credit memo invoice request and the payment request is an another invoice which will be created whenever we are going to do the uh, refund to the customers, means some other party, third parties. A request from Oracle Fusion expenses 
or oracle fusion receivables to disburse funds to a payee that's not defined as a supplier from oracle fusion expenses model who will uh, request the money employee employee will claim the expenses so you are supposed to disburse the amount so here employee is a supplier but your employee will not be created as a supplier but internally it's a supplier it's a party okay that's why when you raise that system will automatically raise an invoice payment request or oracle fusion receivables to disburse funds to a payee that's defined as a sub uh, as a supplier on the application that's not defined as a supplier so employee and customer both are created in our erp software but those are not defined as a supplier those are defined as a party so sometimes you are supposed to pay the amount to your customer let's say customer has paid uh, some extra amount you want to refund that our supplier has deposited some amount with us sorry not supplier i'm sorry it's customer so your customer okay your customer has uh, deposited some amount you would like to go for uh, uh, disburse then it's going to be used the time payment request there is another one recurring invoices and recurring invoices so uh, finally it comes as a standard invoice that's why that is not mentioned here even if you go for uh, create any recurring invoices finally uh, it's going to be a standard invoice only but you will be able to create uh, multiple invoices based on some fixed duration fixed price and fixed supplier and you will have separate calendar for this so that system will automatically uh, generate the standard invoices multiple standard invoices at a time so that comes as a recurring so these are different types of invoices uh, we are supposed to remember okay so that whenever they ask in the interview we can straight away explain all these types especially when you go for explain in depth uh, most of the people used to say that uh, a standard invoice uh, prepayment credit memo debit memo withholding tax interest like that are recurring but if you explain standard invoice request credit memo invoice request payment request comes in this in different scenarios then that will be a very good uh, explanation and uh, they feel that you are having a very good commanding on the product as well as you are an experienced consultant okay thank you and subscribe for our channel to get the latest updates about oracle cloud either for interview point of view or placement point of view if you are looking for real time training or faqs or uh, uh, placement point of view how to prepare for interview please communicate with our consultant you can find our number over here in in this please communicate with them. thank you please subscribe and share in the different platforms in oracle our youtube channel to reach most of the professionals it will be very useful thank you